Hey guys, just putting out a quick video. Um, I just found this on Natural News. Organic Groups Farmers File Preemptive Lawsuit Against Monsanto to Protect Themselves from Inevitable Destruction by GMOs. Um, this is a really good article um, about some organic farmers. Brings out here about 60 farmers actually taking the first steps to to preemptively sue Monsanto. If you know anything about the GMO crops, about Monsanto or Dole, uh, what they do is they they have their 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 farmers spread out these GMO seeds, genetically modified seeds, and inadvertently inadvertently whenever these seeds <clears throat> when you spread the seeds, some will catch in the wind and what they'll do is they'll go over to other other farmers' fields. Well, Monsanto will go onto their fields and if they find just a, a little plant on someone on another farmer's field, they will sue that farmer and put him out of business. Um, this is true if you look at the movie uh, Food Matters or Food Inc. or look up Monsanto. Uh, they do this on a regular basis. These large corporations they're putting out of business these little little farmers. Well. These farmers are taking action, which I think is is awesome. It says here, 60 family seed businesses and organic uh, agriculture organizers have collectively filed a preemptive lawsuit. Um, another thing that Monsanto does is their seeds are made to uh, die after the first year, so you can't save seeds. So what it is is the farmers who use Monsanto seeds have to keep buying it year after year and the article goes on to talk about these GMO seeds and, and the GMO plants how dangerous they are you know at first they were they were put out because they were supposed to say oh with these seeds they're pesticide proof and you won't need any pesticides or chemicals well that's not true actually these plants require more pesticides and they're resistant to the the killing agent in the pesticide but the, the chemicals still get absorbed into the plant and into the food that you eat. So here's a point right here. In the past, Monsanto has successfully sued farmers in both the U.S. and Canada for allegedly violating patent protection. Uh, Monsanto patent, had patented their seeds. But the truth is that Monsanto's seeds or other genetic materials have inadvertently trespassed on nearby crop fields for which any rational person can see makes Monsanto the vi violator. But Monsanto has somehow been able to twist this before the courts to claim that the owner of the contaminated fields were guilty of patent infringement. The, and shockingly, Monsanto has actually won numerous cases. I mean, if this isn't a miscarriage of justice, I don't know what is. Basically, this is saying what we talked about. The seeds go over to these other fields. Monta Monsanto says that the farmers are infringing on their patent and they sue the farmer and guess what they win time and time again why do they win because it's right no because the courts are corrupt because Monsanto has a huge lobby because Monsanto bought off buys off a lot of senators and buys off a lot of people and that's how they get get done what they get done here it talks about how over 270,000 members are represented as plaintiffs in the case. Thousands of them are certified organic family farmers. So really this is taking action. Um, there, I'm going to put this link um, in the article or the um, YouTube video. Um, and this is a, a copy of the actual complaint right here. You can look it up online. You know, take a look at where this is. Uh, uh, take a look if there's, I mean, this is happening in New York. But read over the article. You know, if you could take any action or if you know any farmers or, or, um, or if you're in any of these areas and you can, you can help in any way, man, this is the time to, to, to really take action. Because if no action is taken, nothing's going to happen. These big companies are just going to walk over everyone. Um, there was a, the same article was reposted in, um, the same article was posted here in foodmatters.tv, um, 
And so I'm going to post all these links down underneath. But really, take a look, read it, see what you can if you can do anything great. And listen in my uh, in the YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, just leave a comment on this article what you think. If you have any suggestions or if you have anything um, pertaining to this lawsuit or, or any interesting fact, post it there. we got to uh, spread the word. And the only way we can spread the word is by taking action um, and letting people know that, hey, this kind of stuff is not okay. All right, well, we'll talk to you later.